I am a mother of seven. Trent, Samantha, <laughs> Seth, Dirk, Noah, Micah, and Ty. I grew up in a Christian home, pretty conservative, always wanted to be a mom. Yeah, I felt like I'd married my best friend. In 2010, Texas was a turning point for us in our marriage, and things didn't fall into place like we thought they would. We ended up living out of the camper for longer periods of time than what we thought. Eventually, I felt like it was safer emotionally for my kids and I to be out of the house. And we ended up moving in with my mom. I didn't know how long it was gonna be. I didn't know what that was gonna look like. I just remember feeling a lot of fear and confusion. And, you know, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but, you know, God, <laughs> you've got to lead me. You've got to guide me. I got it. I have to hear you. I don't know. You know, there's so many unknowns. You want to start matching them, Ty? I had been a stay-at-home mom for the last job you know, since my oldest was born, so I didn't have a full-time job. I was pursuing a job, but I never considered myself homeless. Like, it didn't, I don't know, my mind never went there. So I started looking, but it just felt impossible. I remember one my pastor's wife said, you need a miracle. And I talked to another pastor and he's like, what you looking for? Just, he's like, it doesn't exist. I was talking to my sister-in-law one day and she said, you know, my parents split when we were young and my mom went through Bridge of Hope. She's like, you should check with them. I felt like it was worth a phone call. <laughs> I ended up calling and doing an interview and um, got accepted into the program. It was another door opening, for sure. So when I was accepted into the Bridge of Hope program, I said, hey, I already have this support team, a few key people that are really supporting me and have surrounded me. Is it okay if we create my neighboring community around that? Twyla, I knew as a child, she was my piano teacher. She got me started in, in leading worship and things like that. I hadn't seen her in years. And one night at quizzing, she shows up because her grandchildren are there. And she said, God told me to come tonight. Now I know why. It was for you. She was available. Like if I was scared or panicked or needed, just needed to process, like the lawnmower broke. Okay, how am I going to fix this? Like, help me process <laughs> how to get this fixed or um, financial, financial stuff. Like all of a sudden I'm making decisions on my own. So um, she was able to connect me to resources that I didn't know existed. Being able to see Jewel sign her lease here at the property, it became real, I think, for Jewel too, and, to, and for her children to know that we have our home now, and it's a new home that we're gonna make new memories in. <laughs> yeah, it was a miracle in itself, just the space. We could take our animals. We're out in the country. There's land for the kids to run. I don't feel like God gives you the, the long-term plan. <laughs> sometimes he does, but I feel like sometimes he just sheds light on the next step. And when we take that step, then he shows us the next one and the next one and the next one. And um, through this whole experience, it's helped me to be confident to make those choices and keep walking.